Hello my most amazing artists and welcome back to a brand new project. Today we are going to start a project called Radial Prints and I'm super super excited because we are going to be using water soluble oil pastels and I will tell you what those are in just a minute. The other thing you're going to need is paper and that's pretty much it. So we're going to do a radial design. That is a design that starts in the center and radiates out towards the edges of your paper and we're going to use color, the element of art color to create our design. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is a brand new piece of paper. It is 12 inches um, on each side, so it is a perfect square. All right, and since this is a brand new piece of paper, we know that we need to put our name and bonus points if you put your class code, okay? After you write your name and your class code, you're going to flip your paper over, so now your name is on the back. We don't want to paint or draw or color on the same side as our name because then we're just gonna cover it up or it might be left on the edge and it might get distracting. So we wanna make sure our name is on the back, okay? So today we're going to be using the Element of Art color to add a, um, a radial design or pattern that starts in the center and radiates out towards the edge of our paper, okay? So the first step in doing that is we need to find the middle of our paper. And since this is 12 inches by 12 inches, we know that half of 12 is six. So I'm just gonna put a little dot there. We need to do it horizontal and we need to do it vertically, okay? So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna line my ruler up with where I made that dot, my horizontal middle. Now I need to find my vertical middle and it's pretty close, but we just want that center right there where the six is on our ruler. So the six is right there on my ruler and right there. So I have my center, okay? We don't need the ruler anymore after you find your center. Just put a little dot with your pencil. Now, we are going to be using a different material today that I have never used with you guys, but maybe you have used it before, and this is water-soluble oil pastels. Okay, so let me break that down for you. Oil pastels are like crayons, kind of, but they're a little bit more waxy, more vibrant in color, and they're a little bit more messy, okay? Water-soluble means that whenever you paint over top, of these oil pastels, they kind of start to blend together and they turn into a paint on their own, which is really cool and super fun, okay? So what you're gonna do is you can choose either two or three colors today, and those are the colors that you're gonna make your pattern with. We're not gonna use black because in a couple weeks we're gonna be printing on this painting that we're gonna create, and we're gonna be using black paint then, all right? If we use black now, then our background is going to get lost in our print, and we don't want that. We want our background to be nice and vibrant, okay? And we're also not gonna use white because our paper is white, right? So you can choose any of these more colorful options, all right? two or three colors. So you can start thinking about which ones you want to use. And with our colors, we're going to make a pattern. So you can choose whichever color you want to start with. I think I'll start with pink. And right where we made that center dot, we're just going to do a little circle. Okay, you don't have to press down hard with these because they just glide across the paper. I absolutely love using these. All right, so we're going to do a circle. And this is a radial design. So that's why we're starting in the center. Our pattern using color is going to radiate out towards the edge of our paper. We want to try our best to keep this as circular as possible. We don't really want it to turn into an oval or, I don't know, a triangle or something. I don't think that will happen, but we need to try to keep this as circular as possible because we are showing radial symmetry, okay? If we do an oval or a triangle or something, then it's not going to be radial anymore, all right? For my next color, I think I'm gonna do purple. And we're just gonna color around that pink circle that we made. These are also called concentric circles, which are a bunch of circles hugging each other. So we made one circle, then we drew the purple one hugging the pink one. Now I am going to do the light blue hugging my purple. We are gonna be painting water on this later which will blend our colors out a little bit, 
but we wanna make sure that we are trying our best to fill in most of that white space, okay? This whole paper should be filled with color by the time you're done. All right, so I've started my pattern. It's pink, purple, blue. So what's next? Patterns repeat themselves, so my next color will be pink. All right, draw a bigger pink circle hugging my blue circle here. As you notice, these circles are getting bigger and bigger as we move towards the edge of our paper. It's gonna kinda look like a target. Now, I did pink, purple, blue. Pink, purple is my next one. Oh, I almost went in with blue. Gotta be careful of that. So always double check your pattern, okay? Pink, purple, blue, pink, purple, blue. I'm gonna draw a purple circle hugging my pink circle. And it's okay if your colors mix a little bit, like if you accidentally color purple over that pink a little bit, that's totally fine. It'll actually help blend your colors together later when we add water on top of this. And blue. A big blue circle hugging my purple circle. All right, so you see how my pattern is repeating itself. Pink, purple, blue, pink, purple, blue. We're gonna do this all the way out to the edge of our paper. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do mine, and I'll be right back to wrap up this video. I've finished covering my whole entire piece of paper with concentric circles starting in the center and they're radiating out towards every single edge okay I colored in most of the white space any white space that is left it should be minimal um, but it will get colored in next time whenever we paint water onto this and our colors start to blend together a little bit. All right, this might take a little while for you to complete because this is kind of a bigger piece of paper than what we're used to, but just make sure you're focusing and working hard the entire time because remember, I do grade you on effort, okay? That means how hard you work during the whole entire class period, all right? So make sure you're focusing and trying your best. If you do make a mistake in your pattern, just don't worry about it. Don't give up, keep on going, and it'll all work out. All right, I hope you guys have a lot of fun creating your radial pattern. I can't wait to see how they turn out. Bye guys.